Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we're going to check out three new additions to the Amp Knob, uh, Amp Sim collection from Booker and Digital. When it comes to Amp Sim plugins, there are a few that are better and more simple than the Bogren Digital Amp Knob series. Now we first saw the series uh, make an introduction with the insane sounding Rev C uh, plugin. Well, today we're going to check out three related plugins, uh, additions, if you were, to the new Amp Knob uh, series, which are based around three different iterations of classic 5150 amplifiers. And before we go any further, you can consider this a sponsored video as Bogren Digital has asked me to show you these plugins, but all thoughts and opinions are mine. Now, we've talked about him a gazillion times on this channel. Jens Bogren is a producer, mix engineer, uh, just he's, he's the metal guru, especially for guitar tones, I might add. But uh, he's done all sorts of things with all sorts of artists on all sorts of albums. And he has blessed us with three new amp knob plugins based around the 5150 series. Now the three plugins in question are called the BDH, the 6606 plus, and the BDH3. And we're gonna take a look at all three of these plugins on this video here right now, today. Now all three of these plugins feature a couple of bells and whistles that we haven't seen before, including the ability to custom load your own impulse response, uh, the ability to have a metronome, which is in standalone mode, riff recorder, which is in standalone mode, and the ability to turn on and off uh, a boost pedal, which I like. So first we're going to start with the control layout. And this is universal for all three plugins. We have a on and off switch. I don't know why you would want to load this up and then turn this off, but you can. Uh, we have the pedal switch, which turns on the overdrive and we have the gain control. And that's all we got as far as the actual amp tone controls go. We have our input gain, our output gain, we have record, which is the ability to just quickly record a riff idea and have it export out to wherever we want as a, you know, as a sound file. Uh, we have our metronome, our click. So if we wanna go ahead and practice our, our sweeping scales or our chugs, we can do that with the use of a metronome to keep nice and tight. We have our tuner, and then we have the cab section. Now the cab section is either the Bogren matched cab or we can load the uh, a custom IR, an impulse of our choosing, or we can just turn it off entirely, okay? That's a cool, uh, cool addition. And then finally, we have our preferences and our noise gate uh, fine tuning. So we can set the noise gate on and off and then also set the gate threshold. Now, let's get to some tones. Those features are universal across all three, uh, all three of the uh, one knob or the amp knob, excuse me, uh, plugins. And here we go, gain a set at noon, and I do not have the pedal engaged. This is the BDH amplifier. We're gonna start with chronological order. Uh, here we go. Sounds like a fantastic 5150. I'm going to dial the gain back as I would on my actual Bach Lighter 5150, and I'm going to engage the overdrive pedal. we 
All right, let's move on to the 6606 plus. All right, so now I am in the 6606 plus uh, amp knob plugin. And again, I have the gain set at noon with the pedal disengaged. Here's what we're working with. <laughs> You'll notice it's a little less crunchy and a little bit more upper mids. Um, I think this is accurate uh, with uh, the amps in real life as well. Let's go ahead and engage the overdrive pedal and this is what we got. All right, so now I have the BDH3 brought up, and this is clearly an EVH5150 3 uh, kind of model. And gain is once again at noon, the pedal is off, and this is what we're working with. <laughs> You'll notice that's a little bit smoother. Uh, it doesn't have the crunchiness of the original BDH. However, it still has that mid-range. Again, true to uh, the real life amplifiers. Let's go ahead and turn on the overdrive pedal. And I'm gonna back the gain down to eh, about four, maybe less, a little less than four. <laughs> All right, so what do I think? I love the addition of the new bells and whistles. I love the addition of the riff recorder. That's a pretty smart idea. And I'm surprised we don't see that more in amp sim plugins, at least the standalone versions of the amp sim plugins. I like the fact that we can turn an overdrive on and off. And I like how simple it is. They are my go-to, generally speaking, if I wanna lay something down very quickly and want something to monitor, I don't have to worry about how it's gonna sound because I know it's gonna sound great. One knob and done. Simple and effective wins the game every time. I will link down below in the description if you'd like more information on any of these three new amp knob plugins. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.